Okay, so today I'll be showing you how you can uh, replace or uh, upgrade your uh, interior uh, lights on a 2007 Hyundai Santa Fe. So we'll start with the front here, and I'll show you I've already done this one's here. Uh, I've done this one's uh, red, both of these, as well as I've done the vanity mirror in red as well. So I'm just going to show you how to do those. Uh, I use red because they're not they're bright enough to give you light, but not too bright to kind of blind you, especially more so at night. Uh, so we'll do this one's here. We'll do the uh, the one in the glove box there. Then we'll do this back one, uh, and there's two more at the back. Uh, those will be doing uh, like a nice white uh, on the back. But anyways, uh, let me set the camera down, and we'll get started. Okay, so now once you've removed the um, the two screws. To remove this whole piece, you gotta just go from the front side of the vehicle and slide it straight down, okay, and then pull forward and down. So you can see these tabs here are the ones that hold it in place at the at the back side of it. So now you got access to it. Gotta flip it up. You can see there's the two lights, the one here and the other one here. You won't see any wires going to the light themselves. These are the connectors on this side here. So you gotta turn it. Uh, counterclockwise and that's how you remove them uh, place your uh, your new bulb in there so we're going to put it back the exact same way twist it on and of course always make sure that uh, it's working if it's not working you gotta flip the uh, the LED bulb itself 180 degrees and try again uh, that's how these ones work so now that you replace both of course always making sure both work to place it back exact same uh, Opposite direction what you did before. You gotta slide it here. Push it back. Replace your two screws, and we're not on this side. Now let's get over to the glove box. Okay, so now that we've done the uh, the map lights, we're gonna do the vanity mirror. This is the uh, passenger side. It'll be the same thing for the driver. So what you're gonna do is on the edge, on the towards the door itself, either with a small pick like this, uh, top of a screwdriver. Um, or a uh, flathead screwdriver get on the side here you just want to go up when you can and you should be able to grab the uh, the retaining clip as you can see there you should be able to just be able to slide it down so what you try to get at is this piece of metal here that's holding it uh, up uh, so then I'm gonna bring it down as you can see there it's a different type of bulb it's not the uh, the small ones it's gonna be this kind so same thing uh, thread on there uh, make sure it works uh, by turning your supervisor over the position and that's how you do this once uh, to put it back it's just a simple slide it up press that down and click it back into place so for the uh, driver's side of course it's going to be on uh, this that we want to get access to it uh, so these ones are easy to do now let's do the glove box Okay, so not to get to the glove box, we're gonna just quickly open it. And there's our light. So same thing, using the um, the small screwdriver as we use for the um, vanity mirrors when you use something on this one, or a small screwdriver. You can also take your glove box off if you want, but I found this quite easy. So we're gonna just go here on the one side towards the uh, the outside of the vehicle towards the door. Get that in there. Should we have to just pull it straight? down we do that that can, can, can be on their type we just gotta there come on so there pull that straight down this is the old bulb, so let me put the new one on and we'll try it out. Okay, so um, I wasn't able to replace this one for the reason that uh, the replacement for it is actually too small. It's not going to fit. I tried just bending this tab here and that one just enough for it to fit, but it just doesn't uh, fit. So I have to contact the uh, seller to make sure that uh, they send me the correct one. But uh, anyways, I'll put this one back, and then we'll get to the uh, back and start working on the back ones. Okay, now that we've done the front lights, we'll go and do the middle light here, which is uh, basically between the uh, the rear seat and the, the trunk. 
So to get to this one, let me just put the camera down here. To get to this one, you'll find where to get this cover off. So to get the cover, there's a couple notches, one here and one here. So using a flathead screwdriver, you want to just put the one in there. Pop it out like that. Then do the other notch here. And just it's that simple. So that one comes off. They can see we got the access to the light. So let's remove that. And for that, I'm going to use one of these uh, panel removal tools. Because uh, it's under kind of nice and tight. So if we do go like this, it should be able to come off. And there we go. Oh, looks like the bulb is falling apart. So let's slide it off. There's the old one. Let's get the new one over here. The old two slider in place, just like the factory. Now we're gonna turn it on. As you can see, it's already working. So that's done. And we can put the cover back on. So uh, backwards uh, to put this one on. So when I start with the two small notches that uh, line up over here, so slide those in first. Once those are in, then with your finger just push towards the back of it and they should click right into place. That is working there. So now we can turn it on. We know it's working or through the door. So there, so that one is done. So now we'll head to the back. As, uh, we need to replace that one there. And there's one on the corner over there that we'll replace. So let's head back there and continue on. Okay, now so we're now at the, uh, the back uh, door. So to get uh, this one here, this was located right above uh, the back hatch here. So to get this one off, there is one small notch. I put your flathead screwdriver in there and just simply pull it down. And there it goes. Uh, and then same idea. As you can see, there's that bulb in there. Like whatever, uh, you can do it by hand or your panel removal tool, whichever works for you. Uh, so like that, we take that one off. Then again, we're going to grab our uh, replacement bulb and go straight up in there and just be able to just push it up and click into place there we go when I try it out there we go now it's working you know it works and done so now again to uh, replace the uh, the cover it's the uh, same as the the middle front there I line up these two small tabs here to the side here and then push back and up there, now we know it works. Perfect. Now let's do the side one. Okay, so the last one is here, the one on the side of, of the vehicle. So of course we've done that one there just now. So what we need to get is to this one. So let me put this down. Now to get to this one, same thing, there'll be a notch. This one's on the back side of it, so on this side here. So get your flathead screwdriver, put that on there pop that out uh, then we can get access to the light so that one's on because the the rear hatch is uh, open so it will be on so just be careful not to uh, make it nice and hot so let me try to get this off here okay so we got this one in there and uh, it's the same issue as the the glove box it's uh, smaller than it needs to be so, but I made it work. Just bend the tabs here with a uh, with a needle nose pliers, and looks like it's gonna work. So now we put it back on, and we can see that it's working. Just slide her back in there, and pop her into place. So there, there is that one. So we know that one's uh, working. Uh, and of course, we got uh, the one above here, and that one replaced as well. So yeah, that's how we replace the the interior. Uh, lights on a 07 Hyundai Santa Fe. Um, I'll do the same thing on the glove box, spend those tabs, and you should be able to make it work. Uh, so that's how you do them. I've also done the license plate lights on this one as well. It was a little bit hard because you can see my screws there are all rusted up. Uh, but there's a way of different way of doing it if yours has, are done as well. But uh, anyways, that's how you do them. Any questions, comments, uh, let me know.